going on everybody the homie tony miss thought this video might be helpful to y'all so we're gonna go ahead and break down on how to create animated emotes for your kick or your twitch stream this video is brought to you by nobody i still ain't sponsored so let's get to it all right so first and foremost you got to decide what it is that you're gonna wanna do, obviously. So we're gonna make a Aztec Scooby dancing type of one, all right? So like, let's do like a little Carlton. Din, 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 din. All right, we recorded that. Okay, after you've recorded that, we're gonna go ahead and take the file out of your files, and then we're gonna upload it to something like Giphy. Upload. We're gonna choose a file. I'm going to go in here. So here's the dance. There it is. So we'll leave it that long just for the sake of you guys getting to learn kind of what I do to fix it. Edit. We'll crop it square. Just so we already have a preset out template. Square. Um, so you can pre-size it to what it is that you want and the way you can check that is by going to your kick uh it says please upload a square png or gif file right uh image size must not be exceed 500 by 500 pixels and must not exceed one megabyte we're not gonna worry about the megabyte right now but 500 megapixels this one could be on twitch it can be as big as you want really 4096 by 4096 so that's pretty huge We'll go back to the easy GIF so we know that this is actually big enough. Like, no big deal. We're fine there. And we'll save it like that. So once you've done that, you can set it to public or private. We'll do private just to have it. We're not going to put any tags. You can if you want. Upload to Jiffy. Once it's been uploaded successfully, you can copy the link to this. So share, copy GIF link. You can use a website like this one. I, I tend to use easy GIF. I haven't had any virus issues or anything like that. Um, so yeah, and uh, you can type in the URL right here. Upload. When it pops up, um, we can optimize it as far as we can. So we'll optimize it now. See what we get. Um, it might fix it, it might not, depending. I think the video is too long. It's looking like it is. So it's at 4.42. So instead of doing anything up here now, we're going to take the optimized one and cut some frames. Um, so right now it's at 422 or sorry, it's 142 frames. So we're going to take out the first 40 frames because it's a lot of the same. And then we'll go down to like, we'll say 80. Let's see what that looks like. 2.2. So that still might be too much. It only lags temporarily while it's initially loading it. So th that file is still way too big. So we can leave it at 40 and say we go to 60 just to cut it a lot. That's not, that's, that's too much. So we're going to go to 70. See if the dance move is enough. Cool. So I get the, there you go. Okay, so I got something, it's at 1.66 megabytes now. And then we'll go back to optimize, right? So now we're optimizing the shortened video. Let's go all the way again. See if it looks absolutely atrocious, then we won't do it. So now we need just a little bit more to get it fixed. Uh, we could try to hit optimize again. Realistically, what I'll probably do is decrease the size from 422. To 400 by 400 and see what that does dang it made it huge so that's a no-go we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that we're gonna go to crop instead and see what that does keep it square let's go about right there let's see what that does Ooh, it made it bigger. And that's part of it, right? Like you, you want to try to figure out 
uh, what's going to work best for what you need. So we're, we're not going to do none of the, those changes. But let's see if we can cut out a little bit. Mm, right now it's 31 frames. So start at frame five. And let's go to 28. Cut duration. We got it under. So let's add a little bit. 29. We're still fine. So let's add a little bit to the beginning. Cut duration. It looks like we're good there. I'm going to save this file. So that way we can just be done. So now we have this file. Right? And this file should be good to upload at this point. So let's go on creator dashboard in your kick, right? So you go to your kick dashboard, you would go to your community. Then you would go to emotes. This is my channel creator dashboard by clicking on your logo in the top corner community badges. So emotes hit the plus sign. So like mine saved to my desktop. I have it automatically saved that way. Boom. File cannot exceed one megabyte. So apparently this file now it sees one megabyte. So let's look at the properties. It doesn't, but for some reason it says it does. So we're going to cancel that. You might run into this issue. So it's not the end of the world. Let's go back to cut. It's at 27 frames. So let's go two, and let's go 26 because I made it just a little too much. So now we're there, right? Let's save it again. We're not cutting very much out. I'm glad that it didn't go perfectly the first time in case you run into that issue. Where is it at? Right here. That won't work. So it's gonna use whatever prefix was already there. Let's go boogie. So Aztec Scooby boogie. And now it's uploaded and that's it. Uh, on the Twitch side of things, we click right here. The original one will probably be fine. We're gonna go ahead and upload directly to Twitch's site now. See if it works. It worked. Uh, over here, we're gonna put Aztecs to boogie. So just the boogie part. That's the preview. We're gonna go ahead and hit upload. And now we have another emote locked in. So that's how you do it on both kick and Twitch. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Uh, we do have a discord. I'll make sure to post the links to the sites that I use to create them, but it's just that simple. So I hope they helped you guys out. Y'all have a good night.